Hey Perspective Yellow Jackets, my name is Reed and I'm a second year mechanical engineering major and STAMPS president scholar at Georgia Tech. And today I'm going to take you through a day in my life. After grabbing a healthy breakfast at my off-campus apartment, my day normally begins with an early start at the library to get some work done. I'm a fan of waking up around 6 or 7 a.m., although I assure you not many other college students actually do that. I found that morning hours are by far the most productive because no one else is really awake to bother you in the first place. During this particular session, I had three main goals. First, I watched a lecture from my computing techniques class focused on using the programming language MATLAB to find polynomial roots. After that, I dove into SOLIDWORKS to finish the CAD model of a ratchet gear I needed to laser cut for one of my class projects. And lastly, I started a problem set for my computing techniques class due at midnight because I'm an incredible procrastinator. This insanely productive grind session brings me to about 10 a.m. when I decide to get my weekly COVID test. Luckily, tech has centers all around campus, so I don't even have to leave the library, and it only takes about five minutes before I'm able to grab my post-test cookie. From there, I hurry to the Klaus Computing Building to grab a key for my research meeting, and hurry back out because I'm already late for my next meeting, which happens to be for my Grand Challenges project. For this particular meeting, two of my teammates, Usman and Nevin, are meeting up with me to run some test flights on our drone. For our project, we are creating a drone attachment for the Grand Canyon National Park to fly AEDs and other medical supplies across the park in case of emergency. Today, we are just getting some practice flying it around and taking some awesome videos like this. After spending way too long appreciating our own videography skills, the three of us head over to the GT Invention Studio, one of the many maker spaces on campus. While we are there, we talk through our plan for developing prototypes, draw out some designs for our initial models, and get ourselves acquainted with the 3D printers. That session ends right about noon when I have to run to another meeting, this time in the Idea Lab with my partner for ME2110, perhaps the most notorious tech engineering class. The rough idea is that each semester, students are split into teams and given a challenge for which they have to build a robot. At the end of the semester, there is a huge competition and prizes for the winners. Because we are still pretty early in the semester, today we are just assembling a pre-designed chassis to work off of going forward, though it's always fun to get our hands on some power tools. Following the immense pride that can only come from screwing together pieces of wood, I grab some lunch back at my apartment while listening to an extremely interesting audiobook by ABC co-host Dan Harris, called 10% Happier regarding his journey with meditation. After briefly considering adding more peace and serenity to my own life, I instead decide to give in to stress and keep working on my computing techniques problem set. After another hour of what can only be described as minimal progress, I decide to take a break and go for a run. For the past four months, I've been training with one of my friends to complete an Ironman triathlon. So today's run is a short eight miles, which I'm excited to finish in just under an hour. The bad news is that after showering, I'm still a couple minutes late to grab dinner with my friend Susanna, who soon forgives me once we decide to grab dinner at Moe's, perhaps the greatest burrito place, which just happens to be right in Tech Square. Once Suze leaves, however, the reality of the computing techniques problem set begins to set in, and I'm forced to return back to work. Fortunately for me, the burritos must have instilled some mental upgrade because I end up finishing the code much faster than I previously imagined. I decide to celebrate by dancing around my room like a lunatic. By this time, it's around 9.30 p.m. and I choose to spend the last half hour or so unwinding and listening to an audiobook. In this case, The Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson, before heading to bed early. And that's a day in my life. If you're interested in learning more about anything that I talked about in this video, please feel free to shoot me an email. I'll leave it in the description with any questions or comments. And until next time, go Jackets!